Today let's take a reissue of four feeted shares. We have seen how to deal with four feature of shares. Now let's look at the journal entry for reissue of four feeted shares. The company can reissue the four feeted shares and the reissue can be at par, discount or at a premium, right? In most of the cases, the company will reissue the four feeted shares at a discount, but there can be other cases also, right? Now, first of all, I'll put down the journal entry for reissue. This is bank account debit, forfeited shares account debit, two share capital. <clears throat> Whatever money they are receiving on the reissue, that will be put in bank account and the amount of discount that is being offered that will come in forfeited shares account <clears throat> and uh, in this case in the case of reissue the forfeited shares account is debited if you remember when we did four feature of shares in that journal entry the forfeited shares account was credited right now whatever is the difference balance right see here I'll, I'll write here <clears throat> four feature of shares the journal entry was like this share capital account debit right then you had something like this two four feeted shares account right two share allotment two share call like this right okay now here this forfeited shares account this is a credit whereas here this is a debit right so whatever is the balance in this account right can just deduct that whatever is the amount there and whatever is the balance will be transferred to the capital reserve account right so here the next entry for four, uh, this reissue is forfeited shares account debit to capital reserve account okay <clears throat> okay now we'll take up a question XYZ associates decided to forfeit 500 shares of rupees 100 each for non payment of the final call of rupees 30 per share <clears throat> out of these 500 shares <clears throat> out of these 500 shares 250 shares were reissued at rupees 60 per share <coughs> at rupees 60 per share to Amit right show the necessary journal entries for this now see the company has decided to forfeit 500 shares of rupees 100 each the value of the share is 100 rupees 100 now they are saying that this uh, shareholder holding 500 shares did not pay the final call did not pay the second and final call of rupees 30 that means 30 rupees 
has not been paid and the amount that has been paid is how much 100 minus 30 which is 70 okay so first of all i'll write the four feature entry for this shared capital account debit this is 500 into 100 50000 two four feeted shares account this is how much the amount that has been paid 500 into 70 so that is 35000 right two share final call account this is 500 into 30 which is 15000 okay now now comes the reissue part now here uh, the reissue is being done not all the shares are reissued here we have written out of these 500 shares only 250 shares were reissued right so now let's come to that part and 250 shares were reissued at rupees 60 at rupees 60 per share now what is the value of the share 100 rupees the whole of the 100 rupees has been called up <coughs> right so now see uh, here first of all bank account debit this is the amount that they are going to receive so what are they receiving 500 into 60 500 into 60 is 30,000 right now shares forfeited or forfeited shares account debit this will be the discount that is given right so this is 500 into 40 because they are issuing the shares reissuing the shares at rupees 60 per share so the discount is 100 minus 60 40 right so here it will be 500 into 40 20,000 and then you will write two share capital this is 500 into 100 which is 50,000 right this is for the reissue of 250 shares remember this reissue of 250 shares of rupees 100 each issued as fully paid up for rupees 60 each okay Okay, now after that, the entry which is uh, forfeited shares account debit, two share, uh, two capital reserve. Now here, now look at this. Here we have this entry, the four feature entry that we have made here, this one, right? Uh, this entry, what is the uh, amount? that has been credited to the forfeited shares account this is 35,000 right we have to remember one thing here that, that this 35,000 that we have is for how many shares 500 shares right whereas the shares have been reissued how many shares are being reissued only 250 shares so the forfeited shares account which is debited here that is 20,000 it pertains to 250 shares only. So we have to look at the profit of the reissue of the shares forfeited shares reissue of 250 shares only. So first of all what you will do is here you will have to find out the amount of the forfeited shares for 250 shares not for 500 right 500 we have written here but now for this last entry calculation you need to find it out for 250 shares 
so here you have for 500 shares the amount is how much 35,000 so for 250 shares it will be equal to 35,000 by 100 sorry by 500 <coughs> into 250 right so that will be 35,000 divided by 250 uh, sorry 35,000 divided by 500 into 250 is 17,500 okay half of that this is for 500 shares 35,000 half of that comes here fine now here you have got how much 20,000 right so what is the balance now? The balance is 20 minus 17,500 which is 3,500. <coughs> Sorry. 20 minus 17,500 is 2,500. 20,000 minus 17,500 is 2,500. That will be transferred to the capital reserve. Right, and the narration for this you will write like this profit on reissue of 250 forfeited shares transferred to capital reserve. Right now, in this question, only part of the shares are being reissued. If they had given that all the shares had been reissued, in that case, this kind of a calculation is not necessary. Whatever is there in the debit of the forfeited shares, whatever is there in the credit of forfeited shares, you have to just find out the balance and transfer it to the capital reserve. Okay. So this is how we deal with reissue of shares. <clears throat> now, you can get questions, comprehensive questions, where everything start, starting from the uh, issue of shares to four feature and then reissue will come and uh, in some of the questions they might ask you to make the cash book also cash book journal and then the balance sheet right so the eight marks questions which comes as a comprehensive question will have everything including four featured and reissue of shares right so in our next session we'll take up one uh, comprehensive question where we will do whatever we have learned till now in accounting for share capital With that, I'll end this session for today. Bye.